Welcome to the Horror Hotel, my name is Tartal and today we are reviewing Annihilation. Uh, but I can't really let you go before uh, letting you know this. If you are a Swede you might be a little bit confused of what movie this one is. But if you go to IMDB and search for it, you'll find out that in Sweden it's named Area X Annihilation. I have no words for it, I don't know why they decided to name it after some kind of B-movie 80s action starring David Carradine, which eventually just ends up as a Mad Max ripoff. Anyways, let's take a look at the movie. I am not entirely sure where to start with this review in all honesty, because my thoughts are a little all over the place. This is not because Annihilation is a complicated to understand movie, but more so that it feels like the movie doesn't really see where it on its very own misses the point of its own story. I know that this movie is based on a short story named Annihilation, but seeing this movie more reminds me of H.P. Lovecraft's The Color Out of Space. And maybe this is the fault of the actual story it's based on, as it comes off as a fanfiction missing the vital details it needs to really become the masterpiece people are saying it is. To start off this right, I would like to point out that this is an overall good movie. There is nothing obviously wrong with it uh, and what it's doing, and it doesn't seem to be anything off with it. Unless you have read The Color Out of Space, because it doesn't matter that it is based on another short story, it directly takes from this novel, and if you are unaware of the underlying themes of this novel, this movie will probably be great and even mysterious, but to myself it lacks the tone that should be there even if this was an original story, and that is the horror and dread of human insignificance. The story begins with us meeting Lena, played by Natalie Portman, as a professor teaching biology at a university. We learn from here that her husband is presumed dead or killed in action in a military operation, and that she has been unable to move on from this, but one day he returns. As she tries to get information from her husband on what happened, questions he seems unable to answer, he becomes ill and is taken by an ambulance to a hospital. However, they are stopped by law enforcement and taken to a military base for care instead. Here Lena learns about what her husband has been up to as they tell her about the mysterious shimmer that has appeared around the lighthouse and its surrounding area. And no one is really sure what this shimmer is. Eager to investigate and with a 7 year service in the military and being an academic biologist, she manages to get on the next team to be sent into the shimmer and find out its origin, what it does or what it is. And as a movie it does really well, the acting is on par and the events go along well, the shots are great and the character interaction is alright, although I find their development to be somewhat rushed at parts. And this is where the problems I talked about in the beginning really starts to reveal themselves at a bit of a deeper level. The story, or events rather, sets in motion after about half of the movie as the character starts to lose their minds in an attempt to try to handle the various things that happens within the Shimmer. And the problem here is not necessarily that it fails to tell you that, but that it rather lacks the tone for it. I feel a little bit like they weren't ready to go all the way as they should have because there is a great cosmic horror story strangled within rushed character development and storytelling. It feels a bit that this movie really wanted to be a mysterious sci-fi but using a cosmic Lovecraftian tale but without the overhanging dread that we love from the novels. And the problem here is that you never really see a lot of the character development growing they just kind of happen, which make you lose that overwhelming tone that this movie desperately needs. As I still enjoyed the movie, as I felt at home, I am kind of let down by the fact that they simply did not understand what to go for. I feel like they were going for a mysterious sci-fi, but I cannot let go of the fact that it would have been a much better movie if they would have tried to make it a bit darker, a bit more horror in a way, and not blatantly obvious horror but subtle horror, and I do think they really underestimated how horrifying it is to realize that humans are really insignificant in the grand scheme of things and that there are beings vastly superior than us and that we could be annihilated at will without being able to give any sort of resistance. 
I give this movie a 7 out of 10 as it is well shot and well acted, although it seems to be a bit confused on where it wants to go with things. The ending itself kind of negates the previous ideas a bit and it feels like they tried to save it out in the end. And I think that might just have been why this movie isn't the masterpiece that a lot of people say it is. Thank you everyone for watching, I really appreciate you all. Uh, if you like what I'm saying or if you don't like what I'm saying, hit the subscribe button uh, and or comment on the video. You can find me on Twitter, on, on Twitch, on Curious Cat, on, uh, on Patreon, uh, or, you know, basically everywhere. It's the same name. It's Tardolf. Find me. I'll see you guys next time.